Yeah, we started the, our experience last year in November and focused may, may, uh, in our cases on the aortic uh, uh, aortoiliac uh, area. We, uh, we have uh, the uh, device has been previously uh, described and uh, of course it's very interesting for the surgeon to be well seated and comfortably seated during the procedure, but we have two main advantages in this robot. It is the capabilities of an intraluminal navigation and the stability of the device. It's what we used in this era. Uh, area of uh, aortic procedures. We have done now more than 28 procedures, but uh, we work on the on arteries and also on veins. We have done some uh, uh, treatment of uh, aneurysm for uh, cannulation of the contralateral limb. Um, we have done mainly cases in the uh, 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 treatment of uh, uh, lesion, uh, synotic lesion in the uh, aorto uh, biliac uh, area and also embolization is uh, what I want to show today. Um, about the device, we all know that sometimes it's not so easy to uh, recanalize uh, lesion, highly fibrotic or calcified lesion, and uh, we strongly believe that the robot can help us with the uh, stability of the leader uh, using the advent of the, she of, the uh, of the guide and the leader and to pass through the lumen. Sometimes we use also the, the sheath, we pass with uh, the sheath, but also adding a small band to the leader to uh, find a, a hole in to go subintimally and to re-enter in the uh, true lumen. Uh, I'll show you uh, four cases, uh, two for uh, recanalization. The first case was uh, a case we've done in, uh, at the beginning of uh, our experience. It was a young man uh, suffering uh, disabling claudication with uh, uh, no particular uh, uh, past history. He had this uh, occlusion of the right external artery. And we propose a procedure, the, the angio, before you have some lesion, the uh, common and the external left iliac artery. We went to the stamp, we had a little stamp, and we passed through the occlusion with the guide with the, uh, and with the leader. We re-entered uh, directly in the common femoral artery. We have done three angioplasties on the iliac. Yeah, the sheath is it's the, at the origin of the uh, e external iliac. The control demonstrated some uh, dissections. We treated by the placement of the uh, self-expandable stent. In this case, it was a tigris stent. The final control. The uh, postoperative cause was an event fall and uh, the patient is well. The second case it was interesting because it was a 62 year old man and we failed in two attempts to recanalize a very short and heavily calcified uh, iliac, uh, common iliac lesion. We failed from the groin and we tried again from the, uh, from the groin. We failed because we were subintimal and we never uh, re entered the aorta. And we attempted from the uh, brachial access, we had never enough support to pass the occlusion. We decided to, it's the very short lesion we can see, and we decided it's the uh, pre uh, angio pr the procedure at the time of the, the angio at the time of the procedure. You see this, not, this short lesion with some aspect of uh, past dissection. We decided to come from the right side and to use the uh, stability of the sheath to pass through the uh, occlusion. And it's exactly what we have done. And we got, in this case, enough support to bend the sheath and to pass through the occlusion with the uh, leader and to go further with the sheath in the occlusion. We had to remodel all the uh, external iliac we uh, uh, dissected before. two stands, and were able to do an angioplasty at the origin of the common iliac, and you on deployed with accuracy a stand at the origin of the iliac. The stents you're placing through the robot 
Sheehy. Yeah. Patient was well too. <coughs> Two cases of embolization that could probably uh, find some, show some interest of the robotic aspect. Uh, device, it was an old man with multiple uh, comorbidities that uh, we treated three years before for with a custom made uh, EVAR. You see the, the case with the thrombus in this part, but it developed uh, more than uh, larger than three centimeter iliac aneurysm. But what was interesting, we had a, a short neck here and we decided to treat it only with embolization and uh, we cannulated first from the groin, from the ipsilateral groin, and went very distally, and were able to deliver through the leader some coils. We added a, a short uh, Hamplatzer plug. We still have some distal perfusion. We have very stable, we are very stable, and uh, We had still a perfusion, distal perfusion, and we use a microcast in order to pass uh, Boston coils and to fill the sac. You see, the, we are very stable in the aneurysm. We have we had no more distal perfusion. We had some clots, and we placed the sheets very at the very. Uh, the uh, ostium of the iliac, and you see the stability of the device allowing to deploy the plug just at the origin and getting a perfect occlusion of the, of the aneurysm. And uh, the patient is well, and we had a control six months later. La nice, last case was a patient we had been previously treated for a AAA, and uh, we had this uh, aneurysm of the uh, Internal, left internal iliac artery. We had no neck and we decided to treat it conventionally with uh, embolization and uh, a covered stent, but in this case, you see the aspect of some tortures it is. The robot for us helped us to cannulate easily to find the, uh, uh, the aneurysm. And you see here, we are able to uh, deploy some cords in the lower part and in the upper part to selectively cannulate some uh, arteries, distal arteries in the stump of the, uh, in the distal part of the uh, internal iliac aneurysm. We deployed this card and thereafter we pushed, we used the uh, robot to go in the left limb of the, uh, uh, of the graft and deployed uh, uh, we have to retrieve the robot because we deployed a uh, uh, via band and required a larger sheath. It's a nice control. The patient wa was well and uh, the aneurysm completely excluded. Uh, our preliminary experience confirms that uh, uh, the robot may help for uh, uh, a to get a precise endovascular navigation and also we have a, a high level of stability of the device when working. For CTO, we use it uh, as a useful tool to cross some occlusion and we find that the stability allows to do some crossover without any stamps that uh, we are starting a, a series of patients uh, in this uh, special indication. Concerning embolization, it's uh, the capabilities to move the leader in the aneurysm can allows to easier uh, to easily do some uh, different kind of embolization, distal embolization, and the stability can also do some uh, uh, embolization using plugs at the osteum of the artery. Thank you very much.